Welcome folks, in today's video, this is a look at my latest Micro City build, a version of Gotham City inspired by the iconic Batman animated series from the 90s. I wanted to try something completely different and go very stylized, restricting myself to black, yellow, greys and a bit of brown and gold, with a definite aim of referencing the excellent 90s animated series which to me is the pinnacle of Batman and it's never been surpassed. I pinned a few drawings like this one for reference and of course there's a lot of colour but those buildings with the bright yellow blocky look have always been a part of the Batman aesthetic. And I wanted to include a subway. So that's where I started with this one. I ran a subway all the way through the mock, starting at the back, and it's lined with bricks and plates on top so buildings can sit on top of it, and I also added a train inside. I then figured out where I'd put this elevated railway and a saddle line on a series of archways, and it just runs parallel with the subway. On the other side, the subway exits underneath Wayne Tower and its train station. Ah, it's so annoying, I've just noticed a discoloured grey plate there. Oh, <laughs> whoopsie. I have the end of the railway running off the edge of the mock, and it leads to the station here under Old Wayne Tower. And this is actually canon and features in several comics, and of course, the new Batman films. Batcave with Robert Pattinson is located here as well under Old Wayne Tower. I use those grill pieces as track and I'm using a familiar colour scheme for the trains. This is based on the current Lego train set from the city range with the yellow and blue colours. If you recall the elevated railway from Batman Begins, or maybe it's a monorail, I can't remember. I think it's cool, but it's very difficult to do in Lego, so I'm happy to stick with art trays and a bridge network to achieve this, rather than this kind of suspended rail kind of network. So, as I was saying about Old Wayne Tower, this is a truly iconic building that's never really been featured on screen properly, but in the comics, it's a very distinct building with that domed glass top and riveted steel and brick structure. And I built this version here for my last Gotham City mock, but I think it's pretty decent, so I'm keeping it as it is. And I put all the railways connecting underneath it, so yeah, really quite happy with how this is all kind of come together. I think in future I'll maybe make a much larger version of the station underneath with multiple railway lines and maybe several subway lines. There's a jumble of low density buildings here on Cathedral Street and next to it is Gotham Central Police Station. This is the one with the bat signal on it of course and it's bright yellow really does stand out. I popped a wee one by one police insignia tile on the building for good measure just in case there's any doubts of where the police station was. Oh, and also a wee easter egg with this large billboard in the corner with Detective Comics on it. I also added a small park in the middle with a tall statue, as how much more Gotham do you get than statues? There's also a wanted poster for the Joker too, <laughs> I love that print, I've used it several times. We'll get a better view from above as I try to show you the road network. I find this a bit tricky as I use only one stud wide roads with grey tiles, but it fits the scale. However, sometimes I think the roads get a bit lost and you can't see the gaps between buildings properly. So instead, I've made them as curved as possible, weaving through the buildings and I've elevated the road a bit too on studs. And I wonder if you think this is a good look or do you think the roads should be wider? I think going forward with my large Gotham Mock in future, I'll combine a grid layout with an elevated loop highway which would be too large for this mock but with more space it'll look right. I have also spaced the skyscrapers apart more, tried to not let them touch each other at the base giving each building its own ground space. Also a new technique for the water, this time I laid all the tiles down and added a few studded pieces near the edge of where the city will be and that's how I anchored the grey angled plates on it so that the trans clear tiles don't awkwardly end at the edge. It looks way better I reckon and it is hard to figure out but it's totally worth it for that more polished look. 
Overall, I think this is a nice progression into a more stylized Gotham look. It is a bit brick intensive on the yellow 1x1 plates and black pieces, but it was nice to include some buildings I made for my last Gotham mock, but I also made a few new builds and recolored some older ones, but I think the almost black look is a bit too much and it's tricky to see individual buildings as they sort of merge into each other. What do you think? Is it too much? Would you like to see a huge version of this city style or should I go for a more unstylized and more realistic approach for the larger city? Let me know in the comments. So next time I'm taking a bit of a break away from Gotham and I'm doing a Tokyo micro build and I'll be doing a New York micro build so check that out next week. Hey, so if you enjoyed this, then you might want to see more, then check out this next video, it's well worth watching. I'll see you later, bye!